Hi, this is Dean from Sentinel Candles. In today's project, I'm going to be making baby powder soap. Now for this particular project, I'm going to be using clear base and I have 1092 grams, just over actually, so I can fit in inside my loaf here. Uh, I get 10 bars out of this. Each bar is roughly around about 105 grams. This particular design is not going to be fancy. It's it's just going to be straightforward, but I haven't tried it before and I want to give it a go. So I'm going to be using uh, white pearl mica. There's literally no color in this other than that. But I'm also going to be using shooting star glitter, which is uh, ultra fine. I usually only put a little bit of glitter in, but I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm going to put about twice as much in this particular loaf and we'll see how it goes. So it should turn out to be like a white clear with lots of sparkles in it. It should be quite nice. So uh, let's get started. So this is my base. It's 1092 grams, roughly. I think I've added a little bit more in there just so when I do pour it, I'm not gonna come up short. But I cut it up into all these little cubes, which are about one centimeter by one centimeter. So it's easy to melt down. Uh, if you have it just in its raw block, it will take a longer time for it to melt down than it would if it was like this. Okay, so there's a few ways we can go about um, adding the mica into this. We can simply tip it into the pouring pot and stir it up while it's in there. We could uh, pour it into the mold or just tip it into the mold, the, the powder that we want. And then uh, as we add in the soap, it will disperse that way. But uh, I've recently found out in one of my videos that if you add uh, rubbing alcohol into a little cup like this, and then pour the mica in over the top of it, you can really get to the bottom of the actual mold with this particular uh, way of doing it. And it looks um, quite interesting too when it comes out because not the whole thing has been covered, but there's enough of it. I'm also gonna be adding some glitter to this, uh, this little cup here. So if I just tip a little bit of rubbing alcohol in the bottom there, it's probably a bit too much, but we'll see what happens. And I'm just gonna get my knife, probably a bit too much, and just add that much. Don't know if you can see that with the camera or not, but we'll put that in there. Then with a bamboo stick, just gonna stir it all around. And just keep stirring until it's uh, all mixed in. quite nice but it looks very watery still I think we need to add a little bit more this could turn out to be disastrous if I add too much I don't think that's even a gram though okay so now I'm gonna add this uh, shooting star ultra fine glitter now normally I just put you know like maybe that much into a, um, an actual pouring pot which is sometimes only holds 100 grams sometimes it holds uh, a kilogram uh, in this case I'm gonna go a little crazy and put a lot in and some of you are probably thinking that use glitter right now he's crazy and you're probably right We'll see what happens. We won't know the results until tomorrow after I pour all this anyway. And quite honestly, if it fails, you'll never see this video. Okay. So that's in there now. And uh, we just gotta wait till the soap melts and then we can pour it. Okay, so I've added my fragrance, which was 20 mils to this loaf which is just over 1,092 grams. Now I'm gonna pour a bit, and then I'm gonna add some of the white mica, which has already got glitter in it. And then uh, I'm gonna see how I go. I'm not gonna let it set, I'm just gonna keep pouring, but I'm gonna stop for each little section. So here we go. I'll just spray this. Okay. So just tip a little bit in, spray it, and put the white mica slash glitter in there. 
like so. Spray it again. Looks quite nice. Let's move it around so let's pour a bit more. And we'll tip the rest in now. So, so I did this in another video, but to get the rest of the glitter and the mica out of this, use rubbing alcohol and just spray into it and it, tip it out. It's, the rubbing alcohol is not going to hurt the soap. So then we tip the rest of it in there. Perfect. Spray on top. All right, so that's it. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and check it out. And it should be clear white um, with a little bit of glitter through it. And actually I can see already that it, some of the mica is actually piling up in certain sections. So it's gonna move that around a bit. You know me, I love to play around with this stuff. It won't matter because the pattern that I get here now uh, will be gone in a few hours. You can see it's all still moving around and uh, it won't stay the same. So uh, what I'll be left with would probably be like a milky looking soap, which will be perfect. I'd be happy with that. So anyway, I'll come back tomorrow and show you what it looks like when I unmold it. Okay, so it's the next morning and I'm going to unmold this baby powder. Oh wow. Oh, that came out really nice. Oh wow, that bottom is just absolutely beautiful. It's probably really hard to see on the camera, but it's so glittery. Glitter everywhere. So we get a close up of that. Yeah, look at all that glitter. Beautiful. So all in all, I'm really happy with the results of this one. Although it looks like it's white, there's actually swirls on the inside from the white mica, which has come out just absolutely beautiful. So there's glitter throughout the entire loaf, like there is on the top here. And it just looks absolutely beautiful, but very hard to see with this camera. So this was baby powder, thanks for watching.